Alright, so now let's hook up the event handlers for when the next and previous link have been clicked, right? So let's say um, first let's hook up the one for previous link. So we said previous link dot on click. We pass in our anonymous function that will be the event handler for that link. Alright. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to cache um, page links inside a variable dollar sign <coughs> page links and uh, that's inside a ul <coughs> we don't need to do this type this in we could do this but um, i just want to feel like doing this actually let's remove that all right so any li inside ul so that will be cached inside um the page links variable and next what we want to do is um we want to say current link minus minus so basically that's what that's doing is um, subtracting one from the current link number so imagine if we are at link number five and we go to we click on the previous link we want to say we are currently on one um, less in, from five so five uh, minus one that will give us four so that's what we're doing here this is the same as doing current link equals to current link sorry current link number minus one all right it's a shorthand for that same thing all right but you know as you're progressing as a programmer you want to do stuff like this just to keep your code a bit cleaner all right so we do a check to say if current link number equal to zero basically if we keep minusing we will eventually reach zero so we want to see if we reach zero that means we have to go back all the way to the end of the um link number so we just say current link number equal to page links dot dot length Oops, sorry page links dot length okay and then next what we want to do is we want to say what was the link that we wanted to go to so we store that in a variable called previous link and how we get that previous link is we say um, page links dot filter since we're currently not selecting any um, container we're actually selecting all the um, li tags so we have to filter instead of use find some of you might be thinking we use find but no in this case use filter right so we filter by anyone that has that um, class of active link and dot Priv. that's to say give me the previous one from that so if we are at the first one and we say give me previous previous will come out as empty so we say previous link but if previous link dot length is equal to zero just take the previous um, assign to previous link the um, last one all right so page link dot last right so last but not least what we have to do is just say um, previous link we trigger a click event on it since we have the link that we want um, clicked on we just manually just trigger the click event on it it will be like we're simulating a click on that um, JavaScript sorry that um, li tag on the page all right so let's do the same for next link all right so let's say to assign um, what's the class for that it's called it has a class of next link dot on click and passing an anonymous function and we'll do the same as we did we'll just cache the page links page links cross dollar sign dot page links uh, instead of ul we just put li there so we've cached that so next what we want to do is we say um current link plus plus you remember i'm oh, sorry up here we did minus minus because we're going back so here we do plus plus because going forward okay 